What's going on, my top speakers in the world? Listen, if you have been wanting to find a way to get audience input and feedback, the minute you get off the stage, I do not know of any better tool than Talkadot. Now, here's what happened. I've seen the ads that they've been out there on Talk of Dot and, you know, how you should use it. I thought right away, I thought it's just a phenomenal tool. I just, I'm like, no brainer. And then I used the platform for a keynote I did just last week. Now, let me explain something to you because it just blew me away. So I had a number of breakouts and a keynote. So this is not just a keynote. I have I had breakouts and keynotes. Now, I am a comedian, I'm energetic, I'm a lot of fun. And when people go through my events, I, I, if, if you don't like what's happening, I, I'm just blown away because it is so much fun. That's what I believe. And I had these, these breakouts set up for over a day and a half. After the first workshop, I put up my QR code and I got the feedback. I got to tell you. I was blown away, shocked by the feedback. It was phenomenal feedback, phenomenal feedback. But one, well, I shouldn't say but one, and one, one person had something to say that it was unlike anybody else in that room. Every single breakout had 40, 50 people in them. And this one person had a comment at the very first breakout that I did. As a result of that feedback, I loved all the feedback. I, I got 99%, everybody loved this thing. The one person that gave me feedback was constructive and it was useful. That feedback, I immediately adjusted for the next few breakouts and adjusted my keynote as a result of that one pivotal feedback. Now, had that person walked away from the training or the keynote, and I did not know that, it would not have made me be such a better speaker. It would not have improved me. I just would have felt like I did a great job. It was awesome. People, everybody said it was great. But that feedback was so specific that it allowed me to make adjustments in the moment. And as I made those adjustments, it helped me to become even a better speaker. It helped me to deliver even a better message because that one bit of feedback helped. And without Talkadot, I would not have known. Here's what else. You know that with Talkadot, you can get the reports and send it to your clients and share it with the clients. It was such an amazing feeling to bring the planners together and share the content, not weeks and days later, or perhaps from their own surveys, but from my surveys immediately. They were, they were blown away. They were excited by it. And they shared the, that bit of data with their leadership to the point that I was invited back again for three more events. Look, talk that is not just a tool. It's not just this thing that you, you know, use and, and maybe use here and there. No, no, it makes you a better speaker because it forces you to be courageous to look at the results that you're having on your audience, which is what happened with me. To get immediate input on the results that I'm having on my audience is not only invaluable, it truly is a lifesaver. It is a, I would say, I would say a game changer for any speaker who wants to up his or her game to the point of no return to being less than a talk of that. Did I just make that up? Sounds good. Anyway, I'm making this video in hopes that y'all share it with social media because I'm so dang delighted that this tool exists. And if you are a speaker who are thinking, you know, who's thinking about uh, hemming hon, like, ah, yeah, I don't know, because you're just starting out, I get it. Stop thinking about it. If you're a trainer and you train and you develop people, get it. If you are on stage performing in some way, sharing knowledge, and you want to know what people think, the applause, this thing is good up to a certain point. What really matters is the feedback and the input that you get after your talk. And the reason why I say it's courageous is because, let me tell you, when I put that QR code, I was sweating bullets. I was like, oh man, I, I hope it was okay. In fact, I was a little, you know, a little nauseous going back to look at it. But I looked at the feedback right before the next session and it actually, it was extremely useful.
that one person can make a difference. If they walk away with that content and you don't know how you can improve, you may not improve. And yeah, it's, it's okay thing. People clapped, everybody cheered, you're really great. But the feedback they talk about, talk about, I wish it had a different name. That's the only thing I would say. I just wish <laughs> the feedback that Talk a Dot provides is outstanding. I can't wait to see you guys on the top or at the top or in the top, whatever. Thanks. Oh, all right. Now I'm going to make this a little bit part of the, this part of the video in case you want to use it. Hello, my friends. My name is Brooklyn the Science, and I am the Chief Happiness Officer. I do keynotes on the science of happiness at work. And I'm going to tell you, when you go through my training, through my uh, workshop, or through my keynote, it is so much fun. It's ridiculous. But because I'm having so much fun, because I'm having so much fun, you guys, I might forget that there are people in this world They have, you know, let's do this again. Sometimes I forget. There's people in this world who, you know, it takes them a little bit, but I need that feedback. I need that input. Let me tell you what happened. All right, guys, that's it. I just created, uh, you know, six minutes here for you guys. I hope you like it. Uh, Talking about, I can't say enough. I am so, so thankful, so, so grateful that this tool exists. It absolutely, absolutely changed my game immediately, like immediately changed my game to the better. And I would not have known, uh, you know, where the air, the key areas to improve had I not had talk a dot. Cause you can have a video, you can have like, you know, you can watch yourself and we're very critical, right? As speakers, we're very critical of ourselves and we got all kinds of things to say about ourselves, but it's truly the learner, the audience, the participant. They are the ones who get to judge and they are the ones who get to judge my performance. And they don't always tell you, you know, to your face, whether you blew it or not. Uh, but if you do a great job, most people will say that you did a great job and they will have some great things to say. Uh, but, but the specific feedback I got after this keynote uh, was, was absolutely revolutionary. And in fact, as I was putting it together, putting the keynote together and putting the breakout sessions together, you know, had I not had that feedback, I would not have, I think, gotten better as the day went on. And every time I was going for, let's make sure that the feedback is good. Let's make sure that we incorporate the feedback that we got in the, in the last session and it changed the game. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the bottom of my heart. Thank you. I cannot wait to see you somewhere in the ether of speaker world to give you a big old hug because I'm, I'm a hugger. So I'm going to hug you. Talk to you soon.